When people talk about Russia, Ukraine, I say there is no Russia and Ukraine war at all. There is no Russia and Ukraine conflict. This is war declared by NATO on Russia. The war declared by NATO on Russia is not only for Russia, it's for dominating the whole world. It's for hegemony. This is an agenda developed after the end of the Cold War. They came up with this fantasy about containing, containing Russia, containing Russia, containing any power, small, big, that challenge them technologically, economically, socially, culturally. They have to contain everybody. To me, this failure of the, 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 the attempt to contain Russia <coughs> will immediately move to the east. Containing China is their next agenda. They may be playing a very deceptive tactic on trying to tell everyone, oh no, we have to work with China, we have to do this and that. Their miscalculation about China has proved to be wrong. They felt probably they have the technology, they have everything. The Chinese can only copy. They will never equal them. So they will contain Russia, but make friendship with China and continue taking advantage of that so that containing Russia will be easier for them to do. Now China is out of control. Containing China from Taiwan, from India, from Japan, from South Korea, from Australia. How do they do it? How will they do it? That challenge is coming next, but first they need to deal with Russia. How are they going to deal with Russia and then next move to China? How can they deal with everybody? How do they contain us? <laughs> Imagine this tiny Eritrea is being contained by them. We are being punished with their sanctions every time. We have to be punished because we are not bowing. We are not bound to their conditionalities. The Cold War? <coughs> Russia was the hope for the people of the world when, when the Soviet Union was there. Unfortunately, leaders in the Soviet Union made their mistakes to see the collapse of the Soviet Union, which was a historic tragedy, as you have at one point uh, mentioned. That was a historic strategy. In the course of his, the history of humanity, that was a catastrophe. Because the Soviet Union collapsed, the Soviet Union disintegrated them, they felt they can control the world for the coming 50 years, 100 years, without anyone challenging them. And that was when this hegemonistic fantasy was uh, developed. Hegemonized, hegemonized, hegemonized. We have seen what they have done the last 30 years. It's a continuation of the same ideology of slavery. Slavery, colonialism, no colonialism, then hegemony. The world will have to get out of this state of affair. We are at a crossroads. We believe we are in a transition to a new world order. 